एवरीवन वेलकम टू द चैनल सो हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम जनरेटर ऑन कोट फोर्सेस सो द क्वेश्चन इज स्टेटिंग दैट ब्लैड इज प्लानिंग टू होल्ड एम राउंड्स नेक्स्ट मंथ ईच राउंड कंटेन वन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ डिफिकल्टी लेवल्स ए बी सी डी ई एफ एंड जी सो ईच राउंड मस्ट कंटेन at least one of a at least one of b at least one of c at least one of d e f and also at least one of g so vlad already has a bank of n problems where i is problem has difficulty level of a of i there may not be enough of these problems so he may have to come up with a few more problems so we need to find the count of that few more problems and it should be minimum in order to hold m rounds so suppose a round is conducted so in one round we want difficulty levels ranging from a to g all included so in one round it should be one round should contain all the alphabets a to g a b c d e f g now if we go to next round then what happens if we want two rounds then in one round it will be a to g in next round also it will be a to g so here you need a to g two times now as in this example you can see my m is 1 so i am going with only one round in one round i have a to g now let's check if you check in the string a is not there so we need to add a b is there so i can take this in this round c is there d and e is also there f is not there and g is there so my a and f are absent in this string but i need all the characters a to g for one round so i need to add a and f hence i need to add two more problems with difficulty level of a and f respectively so this is what the question is stating so let's see some more examples to understand it better and just note we want minimum number of problems now this case we have already done for this case if you check it does not have a so we need two a's because here m is 2 so we need each alphabet from a to g two times my a is 2 done 2b done 2c 2c are also there here it is c 2d it is also there done 2e it is also there done now 2f we don't have any f adding f to it so we add two problems more of difficulty f now last is g 1g is already there the second one i will remove all the others so it is visible clearly to you so 1g is already there but we are short of 1g so we will add 1g here so in this the output would be 5 because this is count of 5 so what our intuition is basically it is very simple the intuition is you need to have the count of all the alphabets 
in this string now one solution can be you keep a map store the count in it so in the map you can store a to g and their counts and then keep on incrementing the count after that for every element in map you see you take m which is around minus the count of that string so if my m is 2 and count of a is 0 so it will be 2 minus 0 this gives me the count of a which is 2 so i need 2 a's which is correct if we see from here now as we take the count of g it will be m minus the count of g so m is 2 my count of g is 1 so 2 minus 1 i need one more g which is correct i need one more g here so like this you can check for f also it will be 2 minus 0 for other alphabets it will be 2 minus 2 which will be 0 so nothing would be added and we will keep on adding this to the answer so if we keep on adding this to the answer it would be answer would be 2 plus 2 plus 1 so this will give us 5 which is a output so I hope you all understood this approach now let's look at the code so here is our code first what we do is we keep a track of a to g so here we are creating a map of a to g and then having initial count as 0 and then if the character is not there we will keep on incrementing the count whenever the character is found so whenever a is found we increment the count of a b is found we increment the count of b and so on so we are forming a map here so my map would link suppose a to 0 b to 1 like this so so on it will link to g so basically this is my key and this is my value now after storing this what we will do if we have the count less than n if the count is less than n so the problems which are needed would be m minus the count as i told m minus 1 in case of g which will be 2 minus 1 so one more g is needed like this we will calculate the whole count and after calculating all these things we will just put this count in the results and return the results so this is the whole code i hope you all understand the solution thanks for watching